Hello, boys. This is listener Laura Grace, and I was just calling in because I wanted to say thank you. I am home alone this week because my lovely 11 is out of town for a conference, and it's just my cats, but I have you guys in my ear holes, and I feel like I'm just, like, hanging out with my friends. Also, fun fact, I just accepted a new job, and I'm going to be teaching seventh grade special education, and I started listening to you guys when I was in seventh grade, so long-time listener, Q-time caller, power out. T-B-T-L. Guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? It's Friday, Friday. Gonna get down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend. Comes a time in every young man's life when... I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what young men are doing nowadays. Let me know. (laughs) (laughs) Laughter, a sure sign of a good time. Oh, that naughty old elf must be one mean bastard to give us this so early. How drunk are you? A lot to vary. I could really use a win here. Well, all right. Hello. Good morning and welcome everyone to a Friday edition of TVTL, the show. It just might be too beautiful to live. Another day, another victory for the OG. Taking down the sweats, the impostors among us. My name is Luke Burbank. I am your host. Yeah, everyone's got a podcast. Coming to you from the Madrona Hill studio, perched high above the mighty Columbia, where uh, it is an absolute disaster area right now. It was literally a major disaster. Um, This is all an attempt to uh, get things set up here so that we can have proper airflow in the Madrona Hill studio for next week's TVTLathon 15. Thank you for being a 10 because it is going to be incredibly warm here in this part of the world. Be careful and, though. It's spicy. And uh, we don't have any air conditioning in here and I am very concerned. So, um, We'll see what happens. Uh, We've got a partially installed ceiling fan. There is, like, dust and construction debris everywhere in here. It feels so far away from being ready to do what we need to do next Monday. But uh, I think we'll get it together. We always do. By the way, this is episode 4,243 in a collector series. Let the fun begin. Speaking of next week, it is going to be super duper exciting i'm so excited about this show and today we're going to be announcing the thank you gifts for the tb telethon next week the stuff that uh you will be able to receive as a thanks for your donation to support this show that was the fanciest sentence i've ever heard and i used to watch fraser uh so uh we will get into that and we'll talk to this guy the longest running cobro of the uh, show maybe best known for his depictions of the tall ships he has uh finally Cracked the case uh, when it comes to the whole TBTL business model. Oh, sir. Just one more thing. He's Andrew Walsh, and he's joining me right now. Good morning, my friend. Good morning. I think I'm going to wear shorts next week, so you can look at my legs if you want to. Oh, well, we need to get into this. Also, we need to welcome TBTL employee numero uno and our master of coin, Mr. John Sklaroff. Hey, Romano. Hey, buddy. Hey, good morning. How's it going? Good. Um, have uh, Yeah, for both of you. I want to find out uh, how you'd feel about us spending some of the TBTB money on those systems that they use sometimes for NFL players where it runs cool water through their pads and uniform. We might need that for podcasting next week. We might need to have continuous cold water applied to our bodies and nether regions just to stay conscious. It's going to be ridiculously warm here, particularly on Monday and Tuesday, which are not important days for the Thon. It's only the first and second day of our very financial lives. But other than that, low stakes. Well, in the grand tradition of holding TB telethons um, during opportune times, I argued for having the Thon on Christmas Day this year, and you guys talked me down. We wouldn't be facing that issue. Of, if and I said it would be to too me. cold. You said we it would can be never way find too cold. the Goldilocks yeah. Yeah. zone of mm-hmm. doing the Thon. Yeah. Um, I have. I'm sorry that I. I sound pretty out of sorts right now because i am pretty out of sorts there has been 
So much going on this morning. I was thinking of you a lot this morning, Andrew, because I was thinking Andrew would never let this happen in his mm. professional life. You are a you're the king of buffer. You are a time realist. You you just you and you you have good boundaries around what you think is and is not achievable and what is and is not a good idea. I have none of those qualities. And so as it's time for us to do the show, we normally dial up at 10 a.m. West Coast. I'm furiously texting you and John going like, we've got a project going that has to get done before we start the show because it's loud, which is the ceiling fan, which is, I don't know, you you all can see it's it's uh, just a kind of a denuded bear downrod. Hmm. I promise I'll talk about my denuded yeah. downrod on Please. the show next week. I know we're trying to really raise money switch this but, to um, explicit over here okay good we're good in here we've got everything is just torn apart everything is always more complicated than you think it's going to be so this ceiling fan when we when my dad and i remodeled this garage we took the time to run uh power and a, a in a conduit into a junction box up where the fan was going to go Someday. Well, that someday was yesterday while I was standing in the fan section of Home Depot stressing about the temperature. And I thought, well, okay, we buy this fan. We, we've already done the hard part. It's all set up to go. You just, you know, attach it to, the, you know, tie the wires together and uh, we're off to the races. That is absolutely not how it has gone. Starting yesterday and bleeding into today, right up until 1030 when I dialed you up. Every little fixture, every part of the fixture doesn't quite fit. Things are getting ground down with metal grinders it's like a whole situation that's happening in here meanwhile outside i'm trying to get rid of all this debris and junk that's been uh, piling up because of uh, tearing stuff out of the house i've got lonnie the guy that's taking the junk away sweet dude did ask me with a straight face if i'm in the illuminati in order to get my job <laughs> in the media that uh, that unfolded 45 minutes ago i want to be clear i i, I use a a valuable time. I will not answer that question. Andrew, anymore. are we? I, I, are we, Andrew? I had to lot. use up valuable prep time for this show in order to try to talk Lonnie down off of the Illuminati topic and also the idea that uh, it was okay for Trump to have grabbed uh, someone in their privates. This was a real conversation I was having while helping load an old dishwasher and uh, uh, dryer and other things into the back of his uh, his junk truck. How did this come up? Great question, Andrew. I wish I knew exactly. Well, here's what happened. He started by asking me what I did for a living, and that is just the most complicated uh, thing to try to answer. And sometimes I'll just say TV reporter, because it's a thing people have. And I know what you mean, Andrew. You say this to me a lot now. People know about podcasts. Yes, Lonnie doesn't know no, about No, no, that's fine. No, I, like, I usually I usually just say I'm in radio. You know, that's my yeah. version of it. I just say I'm in radio. And then if it's, you know, depending on my audience, I might say I worked in public radio most of my life. Now I'm in podcasting and that kind of that kind. I think that kind of covers it. But if I'm talking to somebody who, yeah, is not or into podcasts or confused, which, by the way, quick aside before we get back to you, Luke, is a reasonable thing. It's somehow in 2024, the idea of what a podcast is 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 a little bit more complicated than it was even in, in 2017, uh -huh. I think. Because in 2017, you would say you you listen to it on your phone or whatever. Now it's like, well, is it one of the video ones? Is it, well, my, my, my nephew has a podcast and it's on YouTube. Are you on YouTube? You know, like the, the yes. weirdness of what a podcast is has actually gotten more complicated. So I'm with you. With somebody like Lonnie, you don't have to get into the podcast thing and, and what the various platforms are and whether or not Spotify is pulling us down because we played a goddamn Don Henley song. You can just <laughs> right. say, I work in TV or radio. So I said TV, and he was... Now, I'm often complaining on the show that when people ask me what I do, and I tell them, and they have no reaction, that kind of hurts my feelings. Mm. Lonnie definitely delivered on having a reaction. He was stoked. And then he asked me... Well, it's, I'm, I'm going to just tell you verbatim how it went. And again, I can't stress enough. We are together picking up heavy like an old stove that was like mounted in into the kitchen in this weird way, the old kitchen that I tore apart, like a 1950s stove. It's very heavy. It's like made out of probably, it's 100% made of asbestos from just top to tail. So as we're lifting this, he goes, have you heard, of, my daughter's been telling me about this thing, have you heard of Illumine? Hmm. I go, do you mean Illuminati? He goes, yeah. Damn. I go, well, I've, I mean, I've, I've, heard, I've heard of the theory. And he goes, so I, I don't know. It goes, I don't want to get political, but um, 
did you have to um uh, did you uh, are did you have to how did you get your people my, my daughter would say and this is how he couched it my daughter says if you want to be if you want to be a celebrity if you want to be famous uh, you you, you got to work for the Illum Illuminati and I said um, I, d I don't uh, work for the Illuminati I go I, I just have to t but I was trying to be really careful because I thought this is really one of those because here's all I'll say about my guy Lonnie he is open-minded he's one of those people that's a little too open-minded like the last person to leave lonnie's office is going to be what whatever the plan mm -hmm. for lonnie is you ever mm -hmm. work for somebody like that <laughs> however the last person that got to him was that seems to be his vibe he wasn't like a like super ideologue he just i mean he definitely tilted maga he said he didn't care about politics until trump got involved and he thought that they had treated him very badly i didn't even ask him for examples i just said mm -hmm. like that i'm not gonna I'm not going to win this. I'm not going to win this conversation, you know, from the air. Like this is not. I'm not going to. I'm not going to call in an airstrike on this. I'm going to try to do a little diplomacy, a little plant a seed with Lonnie about just thinking about some of these things, maybe in a different way. So on the Illuminati topic, I just said I can just speak from my experience of now going on almost 30 years working in the media. Which, by the way, what the hell? I've worked in the media for 30 years. I said nobody's ever approached me telling me what I should say or not say, I go, I don't think that I mean, that's I've real. given you some notes. I did mm. tell him that there, that, that you and Soros have been uh, collaborating <laughs> to, to control, to pull some of the, honestly, if this is the lever of media power you're pulling, you and Soros were pulling, Andrew, what a waste of your time. <laughs> The Focus only thing on that the, the only stuff. thing that me and Soros have asked is that you stop playing the drop that involves a fart transplant, and Zach Galifianak is talking about that. That is the. Do you only... know that I will forget about that drop for literally months at a time, and then you <laughs> then bring I, it up to tell me not I to play it, 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 and, it and then I have no choice but to play the drop. Poured it right into my butthole. It's like a fart transplant. <laughs> I'm so, just saying that there have been times where people have tried yeah. to tell you what not to do on the that show. That is true, but I, as far as I can tell, it was not coming from any globalist uh -uh. sort of a uh, worldview no. so i tried to just i tried to without like going like have you lost your damn mind that you would ever think uh you know uh, have you lost your damn mind that you that you would ever th think that this illuminati thing is real to just being like my personal experience it, nobody's ever said anything to me I, I don't think that that's a real thing and i think it'd be the the logistics of that would be really difficult to pull off like to just try to control the global media or the global celebrities or whatever it is I was honored. I was just honored that he thought I might be a celebrity. Mm -hmm. Sure. Honestly. Mm -hmm. Like, um, so that was the first thing. And then, so now we're, now we're talking politics as we continue to load this truck. By the way, I didn't know that this was a team effort when you pay somebody $800 to haul away the junk. I, I figured that, and that granted it was the last couple loads of it, but I kind of thought that's on the guys you're paying to mm -hmm. carry the heavy stuff away. But, you know, call me old fashioned. So then we moved into... He said, I never, I was never political until uh, this Trump thing. And I think they treated him very badly. And again, I didn't engage with like, well, what do you mean by that? Because also there's a the thing. You guys are both waiting for me to come in here and do the show with you. Like I'm, I've also got this ticking clock, but I feel like I can't just walk away from this without trying to do a little bit of, of, of kind of, you know, sort of something in the world that might slightly change one person, the trajectory of one person's opinion. So uh, uh, then we started t talking a little bit about Trump and he said, I don't, here's what he says out of the blue he goes i don't know if he grabbed some lady's private part 20 years ago why are we still talking about it and i said well here's my perspective on that if i i go ev almost every woman that i know in my life has been and trigger warning here everybody this is a great way to talk about the tb telethon gifts mm -hmm. by the way i said every woman just about every woman that i know in my life has experienced some level of violence or the threat of violence around the topic of sex and has been in a situation that felt uncomfortable or unsafe to them. And if I was one of those women and I heard a guy bragging about doing that to women, that would really trigger me. That would really take me into an emotionally uh, really scary place. And this was the fascinating part. He said to me with a straight face, and I don't think he was spoofing on me. He said, oh, he actually said that. Oh, he wow. did not know. He, I think, had like maybe was vaguely aware of the E. Jean Carroll case, mm -hmm. but like didn't know about the Access Hollywood tape. So when he said grabbing someone in their private parts, I thought he was referring to that piece of tape. Yeah, of course. And when I said, well, that would really be hard on me, 
he said, if I were in the position of someone who'd been a victim of that, he said, um, oh, he said that? I didn't know he said that. And I was like, well, this explains a lot of this stuff. It's like, there's so much stuff that we, if you're, if you're like me and you are way too obsessed with this news and you consume it almost every day in large quantities, you just assume that everyone else is walking around with the same set of information and same set of facts. And there's a lot of people like Lonnie that really are, are not. Um, and then he said, well, uh, he goes, but then, you know, all this trans stuff. And I said, well, I go, Lonnie, let me just tell you my perspective on that. And this is where, I don't know, you could say, I don't know if I sold myself out or not, or if I was just being honest. I said, there's, I go, there's a lot of stuff around gender now. Oh, here's what he said. He goes, well, this trans stuff, he goes, I mean, you're either a boy or a girl. And I said, well, here's my take on that stuff, Lonnie. I go, there's a lot of stuff about gender that I don't even personally understand, that there's a lot of new information that we've got. There's a lot of stuff that doesn't apply to me. But I just asked myself, does it have any impact on my life negatively? Like, even if I don't understand each and every development in that area, is it hurting me? And the answer is no. He goes, that's a really good point. Oh, that's good. A really good point. I thought for, usually they nice. pivot into like predatory, you know, like made up stories no, about predatory grooming behavior. or whatever. Yeah, exactly. No, no that's no. what I'm saying. It was yeah, yeah, uh, no, the reason great. that I delayed the start of the show. One, because Walter was on that ladder. You're changing just the goddamn blue world street. one Lonnie I was. Time. What, <laughs> I sensed an opportunity to talk to somebody who was not completely ossified in their beliefs. It's a person who. Yes, they're probably a default setting is in a direction that we don't agree with, but it wasn't at this point. It was not yet fossilized, right? Mm -hmm. Like it wasn't, and it wasn't like he's not a guy who's going to have, he's the kind of guy that if somebody gave him a Trump flag, he would fly it, but he wouldn't go buy one himself. Do you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. if he got a free Trump flag, he just, might hang it from his porch. His daughter but gave it's him like, one, yeah. Right, his heart, I don't, his heart wasn't in it. And he's not a bad dude. He was incarcerated for a significant amount of time. We talked about that too. Like, that also might have been why he missed the Access Hollywood tape. I think he was literally incarcerated while that came out. But anyway, it was so this is all unfolding as I'm like thinking about this very important show that we, the three of us, are doing, which is kicking off in a way the TBTL thon, telling people that right now they can go to TBTL.net and they can see all of the cool stuff that we're offering as thank you gifts. They can you know, figure out, uh, you know, the donation level that works for them, whether it's what they're doing or maybe going up a little bit, et cetera. This is a big day for us. Mm -hmm. And I feel like between the construction project here in the studio, which feels existential to next week for us, like we're doing these Zooms on Monday and Wednesday night. And like, I don't want it to be the case that it's physically unsafe for both of you to be in here. I don't worry about myself. I'm a martyr. I will <laughs> go down with this ship in the words of Dido. <laughs> but... I don't want the two of you to be uh, dying of heat stroke here. So I feel like there's an existential threat to our ability to do the thing next week. And I'm trying to combat it while also do the show with you both. And this is where, Andrew, you would never let this happen. You would have just either called it on the fan project. You would have made sure it happened earlier this week. You would have you would just never let this happen because you have boundaries. And I admire you for that. And I wish I had better boundaries because it feels to me right now like Everything important in my world, my job stuff, the house, Lonnie's future as a voting. Actually, I don't think he can vote because he's a felon. So actually, by the way, bullet dodged on that one. I shouldn't have even wasted the time. I think, I mean, there's a limited harm that Lonnie can do at the ballot box. But I felt, I, I'm feeling right now like all of this stuff is colliding and it's making me feel very anxious, as you can tell. Well, I am, I'm confused about one thing. Is okay. Lonnie for packing the Supreme Court or not? Um, do we have clarification on that, and will he be coming back? He did tell me he was watching a Senate hearing that Ted Cruz ran, and I thought, how is he getting access to that? <laughs> you think I'm joking? He's I am absolutely. Watching, yeah, I'm, sort of... I'm serious. I'm as serious as a heart attack, which I feel like I'm about to have right now. Um, yeah. So uh, I don't know the. I don't. Okay. I don't know the answer. Well, here's that. here's what I'm. Uh, here here's something more pertinent to what we're talking about here. Thank I you. understand what you're talking about as far as the heat is concerned. I mean, you know, that's something, and I appreciate you looking out, and that's why you want to get this particular project done. And then you said like you don't want the place to be dangerous, which is fair enough. Like put away the saws or whatever. But what we need to do the show next week is an internet connection and a bunch mm -hmm. of equipment that I'm bringing down. Like. 
the idea of what the background looks like, I don't think the listeners or John and I'm, I care mu- care yeah. as much about what the background looks like as you do. I don't want to, you know, whatever we we do what we do. I know that you're you're yeah. proud of the the work you've been doing, but we I also was, did it from until a, we destroyed all of it. We did right? it from a, a basement last year. The point of what we're doing is connecting with listeners, you know, and it doesn't matter to me. Really, doesn't matter to me too much. I want I want nice, you know, I I want the product to be watchable but i don't mm-hmm. think it matters if there's dust in the background or not i don't think that's something that the listeners care about mm-hmm. thank you for that i i do re- i really do appreciate that i want you to know aesthetics have gone out the window a long time ago mm-hmm. on this project we are now just getting down to function like functionality and, and and the practical concerns of what is it going to feel like in this room oh and let's just throw like an added let's throw a line up on there of friendship bracelet construction Mm, i don't know if that's a i mean i don't think that generates a lot of heat but it's just funny because more so than ever in the past there's also there's a lot of tasks to be done outside of the doing of the show now too which i was i was imagining a world in which like on monday you and john just go back down to your respective rooms as soon as the recording's done and we all just take each a big pile of beads and we just like i go to the basement of the basement of this house never ever gets warm except it's it's a real puts the lotion in the basket territory down there. So I wouldn't ask you to go down there, but I could just maybe sit down there and like bead bead up mm-hmm. some friendship bracelets. You guys could be in your hotel rooms. Like I was trying to think you can, through. You can come to my hotel room too. I mean, what if I? What if John and I are in the best position because we have air conditioning? We can have hotel parties. Or or maybe well, I was gonna say maybe we just do the show from your room, but that's a big move for the, yeah, for the gear. We've got to we've got to kind of lock it down in one. Yeah, place. no, the, we'll I, do the shows from your place, but yeah, I'm not I'm not. Um, again, I, I understand. I, I'm not trying to be dismissive of your anxiety. I, I don't I'm obviously carrying around a lot as well, but to the degree that I can mitigate it, which, by the way, have I been saying mitigate a lot lately? Anybody else notice that? <laughs> I feel no. like I said mitigate. Like fu- Now that I say it, keep an, keep an ear out for this. Everybody everybody, Elliot? drink okay. every time I say mitigate, because I feel like I said bell. it five times yesterday, like twice about the Mariners. <laughs> I, I don't know, once about the swelling in my wrist. I have no idea, but point is, like, yeah, I understand that you want you know that we want to this is going to be a, a full week of us uh cobros broing it up and it should and we want it to be pleasant and fun and and we want to make some memories and we want to bring the listeners along uh with with us on that um but having said that I, I, as long as we have a way of connecting with the listeners and they can hear us live and call in and and join us for our zoom nights which john you brought up we're doing zoom yes. nights on monday and wednesday where we're having tbtl craft nights as john insisted on calling it it's called tbtl BTL presents. I just crafted my pants. I wait a minute. I remember saying take, I think bro, that's a little bit. W. I, I was like, that's a little coarse, John. And you're like, no, I, I, we call it that, or I walk. I'm like, all right, that's that's on that you that's wear honestly, it. Honestly, that was one of your shining moments as <laughs> TV show employee numero uno. <laughs> I love that name. It makes me laugh each and every time. No, I, Andrew, I really appreciate you saying that. I don't think you're being dismissive. I think what it feels like to me is. When we do these, uh, when we do these thons where we're in kind of one place, which has been the case in the last few years, it sort of turns into a mini version of the real world. Like Mm -hmm. it's what happens when three people stop being nice and get real. Mm -hmm. Um, Although that's not true because we're all very nice to each other. But like it's like we kind of like we usually because oftentimes we'd be staying in the same Airbnb, so we kind of set up shop. And we buy some groceries and we do the show in the daytime. And then, like I said, you and John get to work on the real stuff of the show afterwards. I kind of flit around. And then at night, we might watch pirate some kind of baseball content, have a few drinks. Like, it's a real fun vibe. Legally and, speaking, you mean watch the Pittsburgh Pirates for, for yes. legal purposes. Wait a That's second. Right. Aren't you paying out the nose so that we don't have to pirate it? That's why, <laughs> That's right. why I agreed no, we, to do right. this. We can absolutely we have full access to watching the Mariners score under two runs per game. Although, you know, good job last night. Good job. Yesterday. By the way, we'll all be my, together when they dip below first place before the All Star break. That'll be yeah, John. What a special time over. for you to get yeah. to be. I with mean, us. the Yankees have been t- gone two and eight in their last ten games, so yeah. it's been a rough stretch for us too. So I don't, I'm not gonna, you know. Well, we helped know. by letting Baltimore yeah. run mm-hmm. rough shot on us, so you're welcome, right. Yankees. Yeah, fans. thanks. <laughs> but um, I think what it is, Andrew, is that I re- I actually. I feel uh, obviously a fair amount of anxiety around the thon usually because it is the financial lifeblood of the show. It is the only way this thing can exist. So we want it to go well. And then also I, but I also very look forward to it because it's fun to hang out with you all. It's fun to kind of do this extended hang and, 
And, you know, sometimes like our partners will come and, you know, like a, maybe Thursday night or whatever. It's like the, the end is in sight and we barbecue it up. It's last year we spent 4th of July with my parents. Oh, who, by the way, were here last night. This is the second 4th of July in a row I'm spending with my parents. So anyway, things are going pretty well in my social life. <laughs> I'd like to specify. But this, I just learned that the Madrona Hill studio and my little house are the best possible place to be on the 4th of July because you can see so many fireworks going off, but they are not loud because they are far away. I know we've got people with pets and the fireworks are obviously really stressful for pets. We've even got listeners for whom the fireworks are stressful for them. Mm -hmm. And uh, last night we were sitting up here on the deck and just looking around. You could see down in the town all the fireworks going off, people along the river. But it was all far away. It was just like this very beautiful but not like something exploding right by your head freaking you out thing. And mm -hmm. I realized that's officially the age I'm at. I want to look at fireworks, but I don't want to be the one lighting them off, and I don't want them to be too loud. Mm hmm or you can watch them on your phone, too. That's the next phase of aging. That is right. I could just send you texts where I choose the fireworks function yeah. on the text and <laughs> right. just watch it on my phone, exactly. which is actually pretty exciting. Exactly. So anyway, that whole thing is to say, I do. I know that we'll find a way. I know it's going to be all right. But my worry is that we are kind of all gathering together next week to try to do this very important thing for the show and to hopefully have a nice time while doing it and not to be wildly uncomfortable. Like, I don't want to look over and see the two of you just sweat just dripping down you and feel like i somehow did this to us that's mm -hmm. the that's the thing that is making me feel anxious if, if it makes you feel better luke i just perpetually sweat like, okay that's not thank a, you. that's not i think you're, you're doing yeah if you see sweat that's okay. just no like right. i that's actually a sign that i'm alive so okay nice. don't, good don't, that's don't, proof of life thank you yeah, John. don't be, I don't be too worried about but, me but but to, to 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 go back to where this all started andrew legit i think we should i think we should make it okay we should normalize wearing shorts while doing the show which is so out of our normal comfort zone but we and should, i can for wear next week and you're not a shoes off house right so i have i got myself a new pair of spare boots slip -ons. on i need you to be wearing at the minimum knee high boots boots on hair down got it yes. glasses off um <laughs> no i just got myself a brand new pair of those sperry shoes those slip on shoes yes. the slider yes. two or whatever the, the they yes. are um they're brand new out of the box uh, i got a shoehorn see i'm, I'm trying to, I, uh, I I've been telling you I'm I'm swelling did all you over get the, the place. Did you shoehorn on a stick? Though? No, I almost did. Like I next I, level, bro. I couldn't figure it out. I got a, myself a couple of new pairs of shoes lately, recently, and the first pair came. And I've been wearing 13s my entire life. The first pair came, and they're nice. I'll show them to you. I think they're Pumas, um, and uh, and uh, those are like lace ups. And made I by the really... Adidas brother. Oh yeah, you know that story, right? Oh no, I didn't know that. These but... two German guys started Adidas. Uh, post-war, I think, I hope. And then uh, they had a fight, and then the one brother said, I don't want to work with you anymore, and then he went and formed Puma. Oh, interesting. I can sort of see some sensibility there crossing over. But anyway, I go to put these shoes on, and, and I like them, but like I can barely get my feet in. Once my feet are in there, they're fine, but I can't get them in. I'm like, oh, that's a little bit weird. And then I get my uh, Sperry's in the mail. I'm like, oh, these are nice. I've been wearing this same exact shoe for years and years and years now. Can't get my foot in there. I realize... Oh, I'm turning into Grandpa Walsh. I'm swelling up all over the place mm. over here. So I had to get myself a shoehorn, which is another another phase of the um, you know of of the decrepit dying process. Yeah, exactly. I'm sorry, that. living process. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow they're synonymous. So now I so I will bring my my brand new shoes that will not scuff up your your nice floors or anything, oh, and you, my shoehorn. But once I'm locked into shorts. Sperry's no socks mode. I will not be removing those shoes. So that's the key mm -hmm. thing here. I need to make sure that yeah, you're comfortable don't, with actually. that. Yeah, absolutely. I know shoes on, yes. very much on. Other things that I think are good about the Madrona Hill Studio: the bathroom is decent. The bathroom is pretty good. It's actually nicer than the bathroom in the house because it's a new bathroom that me and my dad put in. So that's pretty good. What's it's the sconce a... situation in there? Is I like orange sconces <laughs> in my bathroom. <laughs> Well, turn the light on. Close your eyes until the light's on, okay. and then you'll... Light on, um, shoes on. That's right. Sconce orange. <laughs> Sconce orange. So, uh, but but I, 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 I feel confident that we will pull this off because, again, we, we always have. But I, I think what I have is hosting anxiety. I've never hosted a TB telethon. That's the thing. I feel like mm. I'm the host of this. Like, Sunday, I want to go to the store and get all manner of, like, refreshment, you know, soda water and water and 
crudité and like I want it to be like I, I just want it to be a comfortable, nice mm -hmm. experience for both of you. And I think I'm that's at, I'm adding that to my just general level of anxiety around the thon, which is I'm also hosting the thon this year, and it's I think it's causing me to be a little bit anxious. I think Luke, uh, if I may step in here, I think don't go to the store. Wait till Andrew and I get down there because I know Andrew not to not to. Mm -hmm. You know, point there was out. a sale on cottage I know, cheese. I got I know a couple you, of bats. I know you have like, you like some food, yeah, like great, some yeah. food things, yeah. and like so. I feel Maybe like, we'll do that on Sunday. Maybe we'll yeah, make a gro after y'all get us. here, yeah, and we kind of set up, like you know, feel like the we're the 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 gear situation, the audio situation is is looking promising. Maybe then we can all head yeah. down the hill together, and we can do a little. You guys could really see what town has to offer. It's and we could do our little grocery uh, shopping run. I think that'd be the yeah. way to go. I have uh, this All is right. an idea that is completely out of left field, but for some reason, you saying that you want to go into town to go shopping gave me an idea for a visual for the TV telethon. But it's going to take some thievery and trickery on our part. I don't know. I'm assuming that you live in a part of the world where there are plenty of like Subway sandwich restaurants and stuff. oh, there's one next to the DMV. Yeah, okay. It's it's it's, sand it's conveniently sandwiched between the Wilco Farm supply in the dmv yes i well, know it well and i don't know if you have a um jersey mike's i'm thinking specifically or the, the shack has that <laughs> save new it chicken coastal restaurant coastal elite <laughs> i don't know if we've got a jersey mike's in town. well the reason i'm thinking of this is there's been a, a preponderance of i that i've been seeing lately of cardboard cutouts of famous people oh the am pm by my house has a big picture tomb of guess? Dwayne the rock johnson i wish they oh. had a tomb guess but God, i would take a tomb guess here for the show <laughs> So we just week, go around, amazing. you know, the Tri Cities area, stealing as many of those as possible, so that when we are doing the TV telethon, we can stack them kind of behind us and almost a Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club band yes. vibe kind of visual of Meets all of these. Rupert Pupkin, King of Comedy. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> That's with um, De Niro, where he plays a kind of a oh, aspiring oh, talk okay. show host who's obsessed with like the Tonight Show, but it's hosted by. Uh, Jerry Lewis, who in the show is called Jerry Large, and he basically takes him, he he kidnaps J the the Johnny Carson character so that he can get on stage and he can do his show, and um, uh, that was why it was an interesting in the movie Joker. They have De Niro yeah. playing the talk show host. Mm -hmm. That was a clever little wink towards the movie. And also, um, he does something very similar in. Um in a uh, casino as well. Like I always think about, cause I've never he seen does. the original of that, but De Niro also like, you know, he's a mobster or whatever, but then he kind of dons a, a suit and like hosts a, sh a late night show in that f as a weird bit. It's like something about him is, oh, right. is, I don't know if they're all nods back to that original or not, but I heard you getting ready to transition, which is something we really need to do here. Cause I'm yes. excited about what is next. We do. Although I, I have in my sort of, uh, hurry this morning. I didn't put together a a special kind of audio package for this because I was also worried that any song I picked might get us pulled down in Romania. Yeah, so don't play any how music. Should, we, should I just can I activate the top story Please. sound effect because this is our top story today, and then we'll just get to it. All right. Hello and welcome to Top Story. All right, our top story today. The TBTL thon is just around the corner, and we are ready to talk about the. Thank you gifts for this year's thon, which I am very, very excited about. Um, I say that every year, but I often don't mean it. This year, I mean it. <laughs> I say you can believe me when I say these are some really cool thank you gifts that I think people are going to be pretty stoked about. Where do we start on this, boys? John? Uh, should we just jump right into like what? Yeah, let's just talk about it. So uh, everyone knows everyone who donates gets the bracelet. Everyone who donates gets a hand handmade bracelet handmade. by us. Yes. And that is so that's in addition to whatever else you're gonna get ah, when okay. you donate. Yeah. So that's one of those. So and, and I, I we're not ready to reveal what will be on the bracelets, right? But they are No, but I had a an absolute panic yeah. yesterday uh that it wasn't gonna work. I don't know why I thought you both wouldn't have already figured this out, which of course you did. But I had an absolute panic that there was a logistical problem that was going to make the bracelets. Like somehow we had designed this whole thing and ordered all these letters and Andrew went to the H store. Mm -hmm. I've been considering starting to say H, H, hmm. like they do in the UK because it sounds so that, cool. Oh, like I didn't know said, they did that. That's a thing? Some, I don't think they they always do it, but I have definitely heard people say it's a H. Hmm. Um, I was worried that you had gone to the H store, Andrew, and we had 
we, we had forgotten a certain important detail about doing a friendship place, but of course we had not. This is going to work great, and I don't know why I doubted you. There is something uh, logistics, Luke. Uh, I mm. need you if you need to. I want to check in with you, and this is a good time of saying, do you sure. have si multiple pairs of scissors? Because we're going to need to cut the bracelet. Uh, the string, so we'll need to, a few pairs of scissors on. I that. have multiple pairs of scissors okay. because I bought them somewhere. Got some. It's yeah. very weird now. Uh, it, they don't sell a pair of scissors by mm -hmm. themselves anymore in a lot of places. You buy like they sell you like six different kinds, and one has a weird kind of corrugated part on it, and okay. they're like plat. They're sealed in like plastic. Yeah. So I've got I've got scissors and scissor up coming out of my ears oh, here. Nice. Okay. Oh, well. Good. Because I want I want to fly with scissors. I figured that. Yeah. Might yeah. Be don't. A problem. don't. Yeah. And also we so, can if we have to. There's a there's a Joanne. I listen. Uh, I don't know what they tell you about small town America dying, but they're wrong. There's both a Joanne fabric and a Michaels in town. Oh, no. so, nice! I'm oh, so glad I mean, you didn't say Hobby Lobby. That exactly I'm honestly yes, going to play. Yeah. I, there probably is a Hobby Lobby too, but, but I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't mess with that. No. We um, but we, no. what I'm planning to do is to pit Joanne and Michael against each other and try to get the best price mm. on whatever we need. Go into Joanne fabric yeah. and go. Uh, Michael is going to sell me this for like a yeah. dollar a yard. Yeah, yeah, I like that yeah. idea. Well, that's good to know in case in case we find ourselves in the, in need of any extra supplies. Yes, so that's good. So a friendship so, bracelet, friendship handmade by the three of us for everyone who donates. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you when you go into the Joanne Fabrics or the Michaels, do they have a bunch of kind of like day laborers who are like sort of waiting in the parking lot who can make friendship oh, bracelets that would for be us? Incredible, but they're Swifties. It's <laughs> exactly like instead of the Home <laughs> Depot, like that would be a great way to like kind of bang out a lot of these bracelets. And we would pay. Yeah, I mean, I mean I, pay fair prices, of course. I'm not trying to take advantage of anybody. Yeah, yeah. I I don't know, Andrew, if you've seen the Hey Dummies video that I submitted yeah, this I did, week, yeah, but yeah. it involves me and Susie <sighs> discussing this topic of uh, the friendship bracelets. And I said, Mom, what do you think? This sounds like a pretty daunting project. She goes. I think she said something to the effect of, can you hire someone to do it? She said, you said, do you have any advice? And she said, yeah. uh, well, you guys should watch the video. It'll be in this week's uh, newsletter, where also you can see all of these. Uh, you can get a link to see all these uh, thank you gifts. But I did like that her advice was immediately, she's like, well, maybe you can mass produce them and buy them That's somewhere. what she said. Yes. Yeah. Buy, so her advice was basically, why don't you buy them pre-made? It's I was not like, a well, bad idea. Sort of defeats the, no, listen, yeah. we're not ruling it out, but we're going to start by trying to hand make we're these also, things. We're also not going to hire one else because the whole idea is that our hands have yes. crafted these things. That's yes, the that is. Thing, and right? when you are holding this uh, TBTL friendship bracelet in your hand and slipping it over your wrist, you will know that one of the three of us mm -hmm. <laughs> painstakingly threaded these beads onto yeah. some fishing wire. Um, yeah. That was also, I had like a 10 minute argument with my mom about whether or not it's fishing wire. She had found a picture of a friendship bracelet online and was showing me pictures. She's like, this doesn't look like fishing line. I go, it's inside those beads. She goes, mm. I don't see any fishing line. I'm like, yes, because the beads are on the outside. But it's stretchy fishing line, right? It's, it's not stretchy. actual yeah, fishing it's, line. It's right? not real. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. Maybe, it's, it's for once, could you not side with my mother? <laughs> no. <laughs> I yeah, think we should get them mass produced, and it's not fishing line. <laughs> mass produced and made of fishing line. Yeah, yeah you're right. Fishing yeah. line would make no sense. There would be no give in it. <laughs> That'd yeah. be fun. Um, All right, okay. so so that's that's like what any donation gets. of any kind. But yeah. let me, can I say one other thing really quickly? And this will come up a lot next week. We've made a lot out of this whole project of making the thank you uh, bracelets and or you know the friendship bracelets, and also how daunting it is. I do not want that to stand in the way of someone donating to TBTL. We cannot create the situation in which someone thinks i want to donate to tbtl but i don't want to make the boys make another no, 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 no. friendship bracelet we no. will make i will i will personally make a hundred thousand friendship bracelets if i have to because also that means we can retire mm -hmm. yeah, yeah if we one get hundred thousand people to done. donate right yeah yes. i will make <laughs> uh, we will we will absolutely with joy with gratitude mm -hmm. with glee we will make as many friendship bracelets as we need mm -hmm. to, because every one of those means that the show is on fi a sound financial footing. That's so right. please, you know, all all you can eat, baby, as mm -hmm. Scotty Wynn used to say it during the World Series of Poker, all you can eat, baby. Uh, we will make as many braces as we need to. It's an incentive, not a disincentive. Now, I want to jump in Thank here and, and gently please. guide you, John, to the next, to the next. item that I yeah, want to talk please. about. And I'm not going in, in order as they appear on the website here. Oh, but you're just getting... Okay. Yeah, oh, I, I, He's freelancing I'm already. Freelancing because it's I, early I, I mean, listen, chaos. people know about the bracelets. <laughs> I think it's an chaos exciting ball. thing, but... This, I'm trying to think, I feel like this might be the first time maybe in TBTL, 
uh, in TBT Alathon history where we are giving away something that listeners have been requesting and i would say it's clamoring <laughs> like because usually uh, we come I don't up think clamoring with, is strong enough yeah we come up with uh, things that you know like the the sound machine yeah. was a very fun thing to give away but that wasn't something that listeners had kind of bombarded our inboxes and saying you mm-hmm. must make these things available and this year mm-hmm. we have exactly that yes. and we started getting those emails as soon as luke made the announcement that we were sponsoring a little league team the tbtl <laughs> junior sluggers Who I'd like to remind everybody went undefeated this year and yes. were the grand champions of yes. Portland Little League. At least that's how I remember uh-huh. it. And a lot yeah. of people were saying, you got to get us some TBTL Junior Sluggers t-shirts, those yes. baseball jersey style t-shirts. What is the official name for it? Softball. Think of it like a I, softball jersey th- with the three-quarter sleeve. Yeah, I think they're called Raglan is the word. I, oh. R-A-G-L-A-N. I thought it was a brand at first, but I think that's like what they're called, a Raglan I, I literally know when has ever called it that I'm, in real I'm, life listen we've been we've been going back and forth with our supplier and like all the emails inventory i think that's like an official thing but it's just three quarter length thing. yeah Andrew, can, Andrew, think, can I say, think beer uh, league softball yeah, shirt. yeah i feel like but that's better. that's what that's 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 the the yeah. image that you that, that you should call to mind mm-hmm. yeah can i can i say Andrew? like yes people have been clamoring been like so many messages like why aren't these on the tbtl store blah 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 and not just the listeners, but we first talked about, okay, so Luke, you and Ben talked about the sponsorship opportunity last year at a holiday party. And Coach we had Ben. Already yes. been, yeah. Coach Ben. Coach and ben. we had already been talking about this idea of sponsoring a team for a month or two before that. So like we, the three of us have literally been talking about this since last September, maybe mm-hmm. last October. And like from that moment, I was like, oh, we got to sell t-shirt, like the t-shirts. Mm-hmm. And I think it was, I can't remember which one of you, maybe it's Andrew, maybe it's you, Luke, who said early on, like, let's hold this for something special. Like, let's make that be something really special. And so the fact that's happening now for the Thon, like, I'm really excited that, like, it's almost been a year and like, that I've been wanting to get these out in the community. Jeez, yeah, so that's it's, super, it's felt super like exciting. we're being withholding, <laughs> but it's withholding. been, for once, it's been for a reason. Let yes. me let me ask you guys if you have the same memory now. Ju- now, Luke, I know for for years now you have been you know kind of toying with the idea of sponsoring a TBTL Little League team. I mean, going uh-huh. back even when we were with uh, American Public Media. Having said that, I do remember a what I what I recall is a special sort of moment where the three of us were having a secret meeting in the the heart of downtown Portland. Oh, and yes. we all were still working for the network at the time, but we knew that we might want to go independent sooner rather than later. And we flew John out and or maybe What's John flew the statute of limitations out. on I, APM coming after me for expensing <laughs> a lot of things from the Jolly Roger? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know you could expense pull tabs, um, but anyway, I remember. So we we had like a, a several hours of a meeting in in like a kind of a in a borrowed boardroom kind of a conference mm-hmm. room, and then we took a lunch break. Right? Remember we went to a pizza mm-hmm. yeah. place, yeah, uh, yeah mod, mod pizza, right. mod pizza, yeah. and we walked. And do you guys remember? As I remember, walking back from lunch. And sort of meandering back where we were going to finish our day of meetings, but we passed like a team apparel store. And yes. I think that is when, uh, Luke, you told John about your TBTL Junior Sluggers dream in that moment. And we were like <sighs> looking at hats and T-shirts Could- and, and you're like, someday we will we will. This will all be. Our, I think you, Luke. You put your arms around me and John. You said, "Boy, yes. someday this will yes. all be ours." That's Suddenly, how I remember he was it. wearing he yeah. was wearing a seersucker suit all of a <laughs> yes, sudden. But was, it, yeah. wasn't there um, Portland Pickles apparel in that? Oh, room, that's in when the it window, was. Yeah, maybe display, it was all pickles. Right? Yeah. Well, yeah. that's the thing. We're buying yeah. the Portland Pickles. <laughs> hey, save that for <laughs> next if year. this thon goes okay. If we move enough merch we are that's the next that, that's the next level yeah. we're taking i don't know if that's in the budget but we could talk about that later um, anyway thank you for allowing me that <laughs> walk down memory lane a, but i do that's think a that that really good is, point though andrew yeah. that you make a very good point about this which is um you know we because we're a lean operation that has three employees and we're, we're nimble we're responsive we uh for the yeah like for the first time we've basically taken the feedback from the listeners which is please please will you sell us these t-shirts uh, or these, you know, baseball jerseys, whatever you want to call them, 
and uh, we 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 heard you, and now we have them, and they're actually quite handsome. And a lot of design work and thought has gone into these. Like mm -hmm. I think they look really cool. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, can you kind of describe the layout a little bit, the, what they look like? Yeah, you want me to jump? Yeah, so it's uh, on the front, it's a TBTL in like a kind of classic baseball font with a swoosh underneath. Mm -hmm. The ac Actually, the banner that the uh, that appears at Junior Slugger Games this last summer yeah. is in the same font. So like it matches nice. that. I think there's a picture of you, Luke, with that banner from when you went to watch the game. So it's in that same that same font. And then uh, it's uh, a navy font and like navy sleeves on a white you know like a a white background and then on the back of the shirt it's uh says junior sluggers with the number 10 because mm -hmm. oh, so cool obviously it looks right? really good so yeah it looks really yeah i think yeah we're really pleased and there's been a lot of uh yeah, excitement. It, over it, I, think. I don't want to get bogged down in details. People can check it out on the website, but we have like kind of a unisex um, mm -hmm. cut, and also for people who want more of a women's cut, as I think they call them, we do have we have yeah. options for that as well. Yes, yeah. we are nothing if not responsive as an organization. Yes. And in yeah. years past, when we've offered T-shirts, we've had some people say, "Oh, hey, do you have this in a woman's cut?" And we didn't. But this year, thanks to a lot of hard work from John and somebody named Carrie. Carry, our yeah. supplier, yeah. our person on the inside, who, who, uh, who's been really helpful. We were able to source some, uh, some shirts there. So you got, you got options uh, exactly. depending on what your preferences are. Yes. Yeah. So that's super exciting. Should we just keep rolling with it let's to the do next it. one? Oh, nobody yep. stops this fun train. No way stops. <laughs> well, so we figured uh, let's just keep going on the theme of mm -hmm. uh, the Junior Sluggers. So in addition to the shirt being an option, we also have a TBTL uh, Junior Sluggers hat as an option. Yes. So that's uh, uh, similar to the banner that you, in that picture with you, Luke. It's the Navy hat with that mm -hmm. gold uh tbtl lettering and swoosh um i think andrew we landed on that color combo because the brewers color combo we all thought was <laughs> yes like a, that is why right? because is that the three of us from? if you've heard tbtl you yeah. know there's one guiding principle which is the yeah. milwaukee brewers we're obsessed. well here's i'm gonna i'm gonna tell i'm gonna if i can you guys i don't want to talk too much out of school but the evolution was my concept for the hat was one of those hats that holds two mm -hmm. cans of beer mm -hmm. with oh, well, straws. Right. right. It turns out those are very, very expensive uh, right. to source, and there's a supply chain issue. Um, and so we went from there, and then over the iterative process, we ended up at Milwaukee Brewers Color. That yes. was kind of the <laughs> landing the spot connection. for it. And while we're just talking behind the scenes, remember John wanted to give away one of those mugs with breasts on it? And like we, yeah, we went, but down. they were going to be my breasts, <laughs> and it was <laughs> right. not. We went pretty far down the road on that, and then Carrie said that we can't source yeah. these. The focus we like, group okay. response, uh, I believe, the word troubling was used. Uh, <laughs> yeah, was, yeah, yeah, we did spend a lot of we did spend a lot of money yeah, that, on that. We're still focus learning. Group. This is our first year of doing this, so I mean, we're still learning the strategic ways to use the resources. And it mm -hmm. turns out that those cups were a terrible idea and all the focus group money was really not, I, not a great idea. I still remember you just like weeping, not even quietly, like quite loudly uh -huh. kind of sobbing behind Wailing that. is the term. <laughs> behind that two-way mirror. Um, yeah. As, as the I should not have been invited to that pretty, feedback yeah, session because yeah, exactly. it was, it, I, uh, I, they said some pretty rough stuff. But can you, you know, drive me home from the focus group, <laughs> Grandmama? <laughs> we needed to hear it though, and that's why we have these yeah. wonderful gifts. And that's yeah, that. exactly. Yeah. No, but it is yeah. a really cool uh, navy blue. You know, blue and yellow. I think are colors often associated with uh -huh. TBTL. So it's a navy blue hat with that TBTL again in that classic kind of baseball script with the uh, with the swoosh under it, as you said. John. And it's yeah. a little different than in years past because in years past we've for the longest time when we've done hats they've been that sort of unstructured hat or dad hat they're called which is a cool look but we've made some of those in the past so people have those this is a little bit different this is more like uh, a hat you would probably get if you were on like a little league baseball team or softball team or whatever so it's very in keeping with the vibe of the of the of the jerseys as well the shirts so it's, yeah. a, it's a whole thing going on which again I don't want to keep going back to this but there was so much excitement around uh, you know junior sluggers merch and it was so hard to just sit there and not because under other circumstances it would be the most logical thing for us just to start selling those t-shirts that everybody wanted so badly mm -hmm. but it was also we could have it be part of the thong because we knew that would be exciting for folks so here we are it's finally happening and i for one am very excited and 
I'm going to say something here that is, um, by the way, I'm not setting up for another Andrew style zinger. I'm being serious <laughs> here. And I think it's OK to talk about this. I think it might even maybe be important to talk about this. But um, w when we. Lonnie is joining the show next. Yeah, I'm very nervous. I'm, very I'm nervous, nervous about that. Well, right it is now. a call in show. What's happening? Um, when we talk <laughs> about these gifts, they are gifts in that kind of public radio tradition of you are supporting the show. You're not buying this shirt. Yeah. You're not buying this hat. And it's a thousand dollars for that. <laughs> I just wanted to say that, like, you know, when we put things on the TBTL merch store, we love doing that. That's, some, that's something new that we've added in the past mm -hmm. year since we went independent. And it's so much fun to be able to create these things. John, you run that. You come up with fun designs and we've been pretty responsive. But for whatever it's worth, that's not a, that's not an income generator for us oh, at no, all. We no. <laughs> bear, we basically break even. It's just a, a fun thing to do. So that is why we wanted to kind of save these special things for the tbtl -a because what you're actually spending your money on is supporting TBTL for yes, the future. Yeah. And again, I know I just sound yeah. like a typical public radio um, pledge drive uh, host, but it is really true, and I, I do want to sort of separate those two ideas out. So we're really, really excited <laughs> about these things, uh, and that's why they're thank you gifts. Let me, let me piggyback off that, actually, Andrew. Uh, when we launched the store, I don't know how much the three of us actually talked about pricing on items. It was like, we want to keep things affordable mm -hmm. so folks can get the, you know, get the fun items and, like, you know, show off their TBTL pride or whatever. And um, it was only after everything was published and live that I, I think I had, you know, I think, Luke, as you described me, the master of coin on the show, had a thought. I'm like maybe this is too low because maybe it's too the, low the prices are too, too low yeah maybe things are a little too cheap because i was like looking at what like other podcasts charge for t-shirts and hoodies and stuff i'm like oh that's significantly more mm -hmm. and i realized and i think that was like but i think there's something that like this is a show that obviously has public radio roots and other um you know the 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 support of the community in a way that most shows don't other yeah. shows rely on merch sales and rely mm -hmm. on uh ads mm -hmm. right and like right. and and these are not things we're doing and so like we're not right we are not making money on the merch store if it was the merch store only that mm -hmm. was driving re revenue uh none of us would have jobs it's why it's called I would crazy be, I would johnny's be with, tbtl emporium yeah. and if your manager <laughs> finds out that you are ma yes. marking these things this low he will have right. your hide Right. I would be riding shotgun with Lonnie doing right. hauling projects, which, by the way, there's not a bet. There's it's a pretty decent buck in that I've mm -hmm. learned, yeah. having paid him. But, um, I, you know, before we did this episode, we all made an agreement, a solemn pledge to each other that we would not necessarily go into all the stuff that we're going to go into next week when we're really doing the thon. So let me violate that solid oath right now and say <laughs> one thing quickly, which is, John, you brought up that idea about like our merch is just because we think it's fun to make fun shirts and have people wearing stuff that's mm -hmm. TBTL related and that we don't make really any money on it. That is really kind of part of a theme with our show, which is oftentimes turning down the opportunity and or deciding to do the thing that is not the best business mm -hmm. approach because we are not trying to maximize every possible cent we can get out of everything. What we are mm -hmm. trying to do is get to keep doing this for our three jobs. Yeah. And if we can meet that, then we're pretty happy. Like, and so that just, it, you know, we've got a big announcement next week about, uh, about a big thing. And, and when that comes oh, up yeah. and, you know, like, it'll be another example. This will all make sense down the line, but like there, are, I, I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to pat us on the back too hard, but I'm just, I guess I'm trying to be clear that like the part of why we left APM was because we wanted to make sure that anytime we asked for money from the TBTL listeners, it was because there was a good reason and we needed it to keep the show going. We didn't want to lean on people unnecessarily. We didn't want to try to go back to the same people over and over again or put pressure on folks. We just want to keep doing this. That's the that's the goal. It is not we are we are not high flying, you know, tycoons of business who have a big 10 year plan for this. We just want to get to keep doing it. And so there are lots of times where we could probably charge 10 bucks more for something or, you know, try to make a little more money. But it's like, OK, but then what? We got 10 more dollars like we just want to 
have a relationship with the listeners where we get to do this five days a week. They get to listen in for the ones that it's financially makes sense. They kind of help it keep going. That's mm-hmm. really the, that's the, that's the project here. Yeah. Luke, the thing you're being vague about uh, that will people will learn more about soon. I think in our last conversation around it, and it's not the first time as you two are the owners of TBTB, I've referred to you both as bad capitalists mm-hmm. Yes, because in the sense that like, right, it's not about squeezing It is everybody. a title I wear proudly. <laughs> right. Um, but yeah, so should we jump in? Should yes. we shift gears? Yeah, so we got, we, so got a, we got a yeah. bracelet. We got a shirt. We got a, a hat, a TBTL yep. Junior Slugger style hat. Yep. Luke, you definitely need a new belt. I see you trying to ding over there, and it's not really. What, what it is is I have to, in order for this bell to work, uh-huh. I have to hit it in such a precise way with only the tiny tip of my finger. Hmm. Again, I'm telling people we're running a lean operation here, right. mm-hmm. TBTL, right. and so yeah. it's it takes so much. Con- I can't even host the show because I'm just doing this. I'm just making sure that my finger oh, hits it job. very precisely. Yeah, that won't work. So the shirt, hat, bracelet, and then the other physical item because there's more to talk about is a uh, keeping with the baseball theme. We're doing a pennant, so it's like oh, this, this is, is very I, cool. Andrew designed it's it's um. I don't want to just say it's simple, but it is simple in design, but it's very elegantly simple. It's mm-hmm. like uh, those varsity letters, the very traditional collegiate varsity letters you can think of across the banner. It says TBTL. It's in the same blue and gold color scheme that kind of goes across all these items. Uh, and it's just like, it's very simple, but very sleek. And it looks it looks great, I think. Mm-hmm. So uh, that's another, the, the other physical item that will be available during this thon. Yeah, you can hang that um, on your wall. It- yeah, it's like the perfect size and the perfect look to put in if you have like a home office or even mm-hmm. just anywhere you want. It's a it's a very handsome product. And also, mm-hmm. um, let's see, it's like I was when we were in the design process, I kept t- talking about those like college pennants and like Yale and things like that. We will start a for profit university called TBTL <laughs> if we need to. So mm-hmm. you can tell people that you graduated from TBTL. So we're Ooh, buying um, the Portland Pickles. We're starting yeah. a for profit university. Uh-huh. What else are we? Maybe uh, we can buy that one that Russell Wilson ran into the ground. What do you think about that? The one that's nano bubbles. Like... <laughs> yeah, no, oh, the, no. You mean the, 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 the like yeah. Wilson success Academy or something? <laughs> yeah, I'm just exactly. trying to think of what right TBTL university would stand. <laughs> <laughs> what TBTL university would stand for tech business time. Let's go. Yeah, what, I think you nailed what it. Because <laughs> the thing about if you're gonna if you're gonna say that if someone walks mm-hmm. in your house and they see your TBTL pen and they go, "Oh, did you graduate from TBTL?" You yeah. have to be able to tell them, uh, "I did." Full I'm scholarship, yeah. Fighting um, tens, the, oh, full the scholarship at Tech tens. Business Time. Well, let's go, University. I think one of the letters needs to be the like representative of the location, right? Like UW oh, University of Washington. So like right. maybe the L is like uh uh lo- was it Longview, Washington? That yeah, you sure. Here? Or Maybe the or, B could be Bellingham. No, Actually, yeah. the T should be the first letter should be the, the place, right? Because like 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 LSU is like Louisiana State University, mm. like but University of Washington is UW. Yeah. Well, we because we're kind of better. We just do it. You know, we sort of <laughs> it's a boundless W, John. I don't know if you've yeah, heard. Yeah, it's I've heard. Very boundless. I've heard, yeah. It's a boundless <laughs> TBTL. I mean, the, if we wanted to make it the last letter, and this could create problems logistically, but if we move the operation to Lithuania. I'm just uh-huh. saying, I technology think has better. What's that? I think Latvia has better tax oh, uh, okay. incentives. Oh, that's thank you. That's why you have your job. You're the <laughs> businessman. You're the business boy, as I've been calling you. So, all right. So, proud. <laughs> the L is really hanging me up. I have Texas Business yeah. Tech. Mm. L. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't know what do we do with the learning. L. Learning. Learning. Texas Business learning. Tech oh, Learning. Learn. Yes. Learning. All right. Oh, a fight and. Are you a fight in 10? I also went to Texas <laughs> Business Tech Learning. And you know we're going to be good at sports because we're in Texas. That's right. <laughs> okay. Uh, mm-hmm. So we have the pennant. So just to, just to recap, yeah. uh, we've got the, uh, the, the, the bracelets that we're going to make by hand. Those, I mm-hmm. think, while maybe those monetarily have the lowest value, I think emotionally will have the highest mm-hmm. value. Uh, to the to the listeners potentially, uh, yeah. then we've got the the jerseys, the 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 baseball uniforms, the t-shirts, whatever we're calling them, the raglans. I think that's. Then we've got the uh, we've got the hats, yeah. the, uh-huh. the 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 junior sluggers hats, and then of course we've got the TBTL pennant. So there's a kind uh-huh. of a whole, and they're all the mm-hmm. color scheme all works together. Like I want to also be clear, a lot of thought and a lot of time, not my time or thought, but <laughs> John and Andrew's thought, and this person carries thought. A lot went into this, making this happen. Mm-hmm. Um, and they really turned out nice, and there's, it's, there's a consistency here, which I'm very proud of. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
So those are the physical items. We okay. also have a now few... we get to the spiritual. Ones. <laughs> yeah. Now we're gonna manifest. Eternal... How much is eternal peace? A spiritual scalp massage. I don't know. Let's call Joel Osteen. <laughs> um, so we have the things that folks are used to. So uh, there's the daily donor. If you give a certain level, you'll be you'll be thanked on air as a daily donor. Mm -hmm. Something we've been doing for years. And then the other similar thing uh, to that is the dazzling donor. If you're a dazzling donor, you get your dazzling donor message right on there. So those mm -hmm. are two of the other items. And then uh, the last thing is a new thing we're trying. It's um, I don't know if legally I can say the word that's like for like trademark purposes but you'll get a personalized customized message from luke or andrew uh sent to you or sent on, on your behalf or you know we'll figure out the details later uh but a, a video message, a video just message. video go on yes. the internet and look up the band that does the song word up mm. Is that... <laughs> and then, and then imagine like there's that. another company that yes. uses that name to do a As I've said it service. so many times to both of you, we got to keep this messaging clean, you guys. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I really, I really muddy yeah. the hell out it's of that. super yeah. easy. Look up who did the song Word Up and then look up a business that has the same name and then realize we'll do something like that for you. Yeah. yeah Luke, yeah, going yeah. back to your conversation with Lonnie earlier, as uh -huh. your celebrity star continues to rise, yeah. I'm wondering if you will mm -hmm. ever have a cameo on a popular television talk oh. show. That's just sort of a thought I had out of left field as we're talking about these videos. Not but... as long as I'm on Soros's shit list. Yeah. <laughs> I still am. I'm just implanting the word cameo into people's minds. Um, but you haven't yeah. said mitigate once no. since you pointed that out. <laughs> so you've cured yourself of that right. problem. Exactly, yeah. But um, yeah, so for a very, very, very generous donation. Um, That's another thing too, by the way. Uh, like, uh, the cameo thing, like we um, that's the band that does word up, yes, <laughs> and that's the business that does a similar yeah. service, <laughs> believe it or not. And this is shocking, people have on more than one occasion asked us, Hey, why don't you all do cameo? Like, mm. there are it's 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 quite hard to wrap your mind around, but there are people less famous than us that are doing cameos, mm. and it you know, and presumably there's some small amount of money to be made for those folks that are doing that. And if we put video, if we put if we started a cameo. Probably a few people would bite on that, but we were like, it just didn't seem like our, our really our brand. And also it seemed like if we're going to do something like that, why not make it part of TBTL and why not do it for the tens? Like, and just make it a fun thing. That's a thank you for supporting the show. And by the way, it's supporting the show at a very significant level. So mm -hmm. it's, you know, um, it's, we think it's a pretty cool, uh, thank you gift. Um, and, but, but also it's, you know, it's certainly a commitment, but it's like that, like, we're just not trying to like start every single, we're not trying to put every iron in every fire we can at all times to make 10 more dollars. We're like, how do we focus pretty much everything we're doing into keeping TBTL going as a concern? And like, this is one of those things. Mm -hmm. I guess my point is not all heroes wear capes. We have decided not to do cameos so we can do our version of it as part of the TV yeah. And that is and a, Luke, oh, oh, go ahead. Go ahead, John. No, I was going to say, you got, Luke, you mentioned it's kind of a higher price point. That's because Andrew, I believe, said, I don't get out of bed for anything less than $10,000. Yeah. That, that was is that what the I quote? Said. Yes. Exactly. Honestly, the Star Wagon rental is a big part of the cost. And why <laughs> Andrew needs a trailer when he's going to be filming this at his house is uh, confusing to me. It's a and, mindset. Uh, I guess I mean I can't question your process because the, honestly the product is 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 impeccable no notes yes. so whatever you're doing whatever's getting you there I support it but it does seem weird to me yeah. yeah so anyway I am looking forward to that and that is that is at a very very generous giving level I should say that um, but we're gonna experiment with it and um, and maybe mm -hmm. we can maybe we can make a couple of these these videos for the folks who are are interested in that I mean I'm interested in knowing do you think that if people request these of us, do you think that more of them will be personalized messages to the person who donates, or will they be asking us to make videos for other people in their lives? Oh, that's a really good... Yeah, that's interesting, because my sense of how the other service works is that it's a lot of times people ordering them for other people because mm -hmm. they'll get a kick out of, yeah. you know, Baba Booey from the Stern Show doing a cameo for them. Um, it's it's not always like a person um, requesting it for themselves, but <clears throat> I, so my guess would be it's more that. But I don't. Know. We will absolutely make a video for anyone, whether mm -hmm. it's the donor or someone the donor wants us to make the video for. You you name it, we'll do yep. it. Yep. Mm -hmm. I I can't. I will say that I cannot sing or rap on <gasps> demand. I will say that, Luke. I don't know if you want to put. That's the, one of the many of... ways you and Bindi Irwin are. You know, I don't are, are know distinguishable who that is. from Who's each other. Bindi? 
We Irwin? used to play a drop on this show. So, you know, the crocodile hunter Steve yeah. Irwin, yeah. he yeah. has a daughter named oh, Bindi, and she kind of got oh. famous on her own. And, and one of her things that she would do as kind of her gimmick was to uh, rap. Oh. And I guess she was on, I, it might have been Rachel Ray or something. Let me just play this drop for you. It's, it's wonderful. I hear that you rap. Is that true? Yes, it is true. That's why I said that okay. separates you from Bindi Irwin. <laughs> I was really the old I heads was, get it, Andrew. I was really excited for the rapping. I thought the rapping was going to yeah. begin, but with just the setup. Uh, we that's not, we don't focus on that kind of stuff. No. On I hear okay. that you rap. Is that true? Yes, it is true. All right. Well, I do not. Okay. <laughs> Power out. <laughs> I do have Bindi Irwin now rapping on the Today Show a song okay. called "Trouble in the Jungle." So let's just hear I... a little bit. Of this. This is good. Are we going to get pulled to the spot of high for this? Mr. Panda, what you going to do? Because it's mad expense. There's no bamboo for you to chew through. But who can undo the round to the panda just to expand the land of man? What a dumb plan. Just ask the orangutan. His bar is shrinking. What do we think? I'm afraid of grizzly bears, but don't you see? Grizzly bears should really be afraid of me. I think that the 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 most amazing part of this whole performance is there are uh, four dancers behind Bindi. Now remember, this is being spun as uh, rap music. There are four dancers behind Bindi who are wearing T-shirts that say "The Croc Man," but they are. Very clearly hired one day ago from an off off Broadway production of Hair uh-huh. or some such. These are I hope they have clothes on though. These are the most Broadway boys you've ever seen who probably learned these moves. The moves are pretty rudimentary. Learned the Crocman Bindi Irwin backup dance moves, likely in the green room mm-hmm. before coming out to do this Today Show appearance. Uh, there's Nothing says rap less than the Crocman is what I would like to point out to people who can't see this. You don't think this was like a freestyle cipher, like uh, hot? She went on sway. Yeah, right. She went on hot ninety seven. Yeah, exactly. That's she went on right after Little Dicky. <laughs> just blew their minds. All right. Well, that is what we got coming yes. for next week's TB Telethon. We'll be. Sweating our heads off at Luke's mm-hmm. place, sitting on it sounds like power saws and other dangerous mechanisms. No, everything. The tools will be gone. Okay. I promise you. I don't trust you around that stuff, Andrew. You're okay, like good. a, you know, I get uh, fidgety. Yeah, exactly. Like if there's a sawzall sitting around, mm-hmm. I'll turn my back, and next thing you know, you'll be trying to jam it up your nose. Who knows what's going? On? <laughs> exactly. We can't have that. So it's gonna be it's gonna be safe here. It's just going to be it's gonna be temperature hot. <laughs> Mm-hmm. It's going to be, it'll be flavor hot and temperature hot here. Yeah, great. And the content's so, going to be hot. I hope so. And and for folks, uh, I can't imagine you wouldn't already know this just from other thons, but yeah, we are going to be live streaming the shows. I was making a list, uh, uh, an exhaustive list for myself today, Andrew, about what each day is going to look like next week mm-hmm. just for me, like what time I'm getting up. What are the what are the series of things I need to do? Of course, I like to reactivate my Facebook page and do a little eagle soaring. So I've got to figure out where I'm going to go do that next week and and document that a little bit for the tens. Um, I was, uh, you know, just kind of scoping it all out. And one of the things I was writing was TBTL live at 10 a.m. It made it mm-hmm. felt exciting. It felt like something cool was happening. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm, because we're going to be streaming the shows live. Yep. You'll be able to watch it on YouTube live and call in if you'd call like in. to or chat with other tens. Like it's going to be a live event, 10 a.m. West Coast every single day next week, Monday through Friday. That's and, right. Andrew, while Luke is eagle soaring, you and I will be hitting the buffet at the hotel. Is that a breakfast? I believe buffet? so. Yeah, right? I believe the con- uh, it like looks like they do have breakfast. one. By the way, yeah. nice. Should we document that on our social medias as well? Fapoon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what will you think of next, Germany? <laughs> yeah, I um. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm very excited. There's something about the streaming of it live that like is um, it's it's fun for us. It's I think it's intriguing for the listeners. It's stressful for us, honestly. There's going to be a point on uh, Monday. I, I'm I'm putting it down at about 9 a.m. where we are going to look at each other and think this is not happening. We are completely hosed, mm-hmm. and then it will be fine by mm-hmm. 10 a.m. Or mm-hmm. shortly thereafter. But then we'll we have will... the same feelings again five minutes before the Zoom later that, that evening. Correct. Yes. Mm-hmm. So. Correct. And then we'll get through it. This is this mm-hmm. is the process. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. Absolutely. So, 
Um, that's the plan for next week. We really hope that you can join us. And I will just stop talking here because I'm going to shift back into another TB Telethon pitch, which there'll be enough of next week. But there will also be very good content. This is the one thought I have before we get to music okay. for your weekend, which is I almost made the joke at some point today when we started the show that, like, if we raise all of our money that we need to raise, if we hit our goal after day one, or even after today, because by the way, as you're hearing this, this is all live at tbtl.net. In other words, you can go to tbtl.net right now, and you can do uh, a, a one of a couple of things. One, you could um, donate for the first time. If you've never donated before, this is a great time to do it. Two, you could uh, just check on your donation and see what the thank you gift is that's coming in for what you're already doing. And if that's the case, you just leave that alone. That just continues on. Or you could also look at the whole range of gifts and maybe think about throwing a little more donation TBTL's way this coming year. So those are all things you can do. Um, but I was going to make the joke that if we uh, hit our goal after day one, then the thon is over. But this is what's fun about the TBTL thon. I think it's good content. Mm -hmm. Like the public radio stations, that's the whole carrot you dangle is like, hey, if we hit our goal, we'll stop doing this. But I actually really think it's good programming for us. And even mm -hmm. if we, my promise to you is even if we hit our goal, we're still going to keep doing mm -hmm. the thon because mm -hmm. it's fun. Yeah, it's a great way to connect with the, the, the folks who listen to our blabber every day. Like, I love the idea of, uh, you know, at 10 a.m. West Coast time, you can dial up uh, YouTube and not just listen to our blabber, but talk to each other in the chat. It's a good time for tens to interact with other tens and then also to call in to the show. You know, we're really talking a, a lot about friendship um, mm -hmm. this thon as well. The theme is thank you for being a 10. Um, and, you know, there's a lot, a lot of friendship talk in tbtl generally speaking because like you always point out luke like we do a podcast but really the power of tbtl is way bigger than what we do on a daily basis it's the relationships that people have been building via the podcast and through the community and so if people want to call in and and uh, send messages to other 10 oh can we do like a a f what I, I want to be very careful with my language here but is there a friendship version of love lines or something? Well, that's not mm. what love lines are, but like where people can call in and, and sort of live on the air send messages to other tens. Ten. You're thinking Delilah. Thinking Delilah. I'm also maybe <laughs> thinking of Delilah. that uh, of that um of that prison show that's uh in Texas somewhere where, uh -huh. where family members can call in and send yes. messages via the radio waves to people who are in, in prison. So anyway, I mm -hmm. was not careful with it's my It's kind language. of like Prairie Home Companion when they'd come back from the intermission and kind of read those notes. Yeah, exactly. Which I actually thought was genius. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, so. I mean, any any kind of communicating that folks want to do with us to other tens, you name it, it's going to be happening next week. Mm -hmm. So, Can we, I also we... just real quick, Luke, say, uh, if people have questions about their giving, please, anytime, shoot me an email, john at tbtl.net, J-O-N at tbtl.net. Uh, if you're like, w I want to get the shirt, but I don't know if I'm giving enough to get it or whatever, just like shoot me a note and I'll walk you through it. Obviously, Sunday, I'll actually be in transit on my way to the Madrona Hill studio, but mm -hmm. uh, I'll be as responsive as I can over the next few days if anyone has any questions about that stuff. Yeah, too. you're so really good at that. that. Thank you for doing yes, that. Yes, this is John's week to shine. Mm -hmm. This is this is why they pay me the big bucks. This you... is absolutely, he's a highly specialized individual. He's like mm -hmm. a He's like an MLB closer. He just <laughs> he's he's basically been training for years to do this one hyper specific thing and do it perfectly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Exactly. Well, no like, pressure. Let's, let's not sex the vacations. Mm -hmm. too What's your walk-in yeah. music? Is it Wild Thing, oh, like God. Charlie Sheen in the movie Major League? I mean, put on the spot. I don't know. I'd have to think about it. Like, I what really is? Who's to... the Who's the uh, Yankees closer these days? I'm, this is a real question. It's um oh oh my God! I got him on my fantasy team. Clay Clay Holmes. Clay. Holmes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do we know what he do? Do do these? I haven't been to a game. And Andrew, you go to lots of games. Do they? Do the closers walk into music? Is that still a thing? I feel like there yeah. was, yeah. was a real moment with that a few years ago. Did, yep. uh, you know, former Mariner great Edwin Diaz, yeah. who we were talking about the Sugar. other day in our team meeting, who was of the throw in in the Cano trade uh, to the Mets. He does the Timmy trumpet song, which I know you guys have heard. It was, uh, it's it's lightning when he comes mm -hmm. into a game. Timmy That's trumpet. The, yeah, Narcos is the name of the song. But look oh. up Edwin Diaz. They did Timmy Trumpet played it live at Mets oh, game seasons right. ago. It was the state like I don't like the Mets. It was like the coolest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, I remember when he went there. Oh, they I made remember such a big deal. Yeah. 
yeah. of his walk up or walk out. This is definitely gonna get kicked off Spotify. If we play. I was yeah. Oh say, yeah, be careful, <laughs> actually, Luke. Yeah, be, I do want to say that. Like, and do you we, think we a band to... called Blaster Jacks with two X might be something that's got that's on the radar of the mega corporations? <laughs> this is this song, Blaster Jacks, featuring Timmy Trumpet, Narco, off of Maximize Records, is probably the most thing that would get us pulled down. <laughs> You know what I'm I'm thinking I'm actually being I w- I was about to say next week I'm going to be very um strict about no fun. music I'm, first of all there will be no fun next week Roger okay. uh, but here. honestly like it is really imperative that our shows don't yes. get pulled down especially cuz yes. we're streaming them live so I think we need to be like we need to really just stick to you know the top story sounder I don't even think I'm going to okay. play the blurs days song because that could or maybe the beginning of it we need to really be careful with that and having said that how do I, this is just occurring to me right now i had a music for your weekend dialed up but maybe that's not mm. the best idea for today should i this is just an idea i'm gonna throw out there we should have talked about it before the show but and this is directed towards you luke w- should we go out with that listener generated ai song that somebody mm. sent in this week or do you just want to oh, roll the yeah. dice and just do music for your weekend no today? let's not let's let's you know what let's starting today and all through next week let's really really play it safe mm-hmm. on any kind of right stuff because if there are like if we're going to count this as kind of the launch of the thon in a way if there are six episodes that really need to be available to the widest number of people it's and the, and that song was pretty actually really slapped i don't have it right in front of me though yeah, do no, you here's what have I'm that do. info so here's what i'm going to do and this is probably not how listener mike would love this but i'm going to tell you i'm going to tell you, you and the listeners you a don't little know story Mike's here life. we <laughs> A couple of weeks ago, I got an email from listener Mike who said, hey, uh, in, in the spirit of the TBTLathon, I asked an AI program to sort of come up with a hip hop song that is related to TBTL and, and to call it that cash could get me out of a f- couple of jams, <laughs> uh, which is oh, right on is brand perfect. for us. Now he later followed, we never had a chance to play it on the show. He later followed up with an email to you, Luke saying, Hey, I don't know if I'm feeling that great about that original song. I actually did a lot more work on a, another version and maybe we'll play that one down the line a little bit, but I like Mike's original song. I, think it's interesting and it's right on point for today called that cash could get me out of a couple of jams i do have to uh, warn the listeners there are a couple of i believe the ai swears in this i believe there may be an f word or two so if you're sensitive to that uh maybe maybe fade out a little bit early but we're going to play this song from mike uh created with his brain and artificial intelligence nice and that's how we're going to wrap up our broadcast week so thank you Thank you, thank you for listening to TVTL this week. Thanks for being part of the show. We will be back here on Monday, all three of us assembled here in the Madrona Hill studio, live and direct to you via TBTL.net. So do join us for that. In the meantime, have a great weekend. Take care of yourself. Stay cool. Stay cool. Consider staying out of the sun. Ooh. Consider drinking a lot of water. Where'd you get and that And consider... Advice? Oh, man, I have I've got this amazing news source called Oregon Public Broadcasting that just it's got some all timers on oh, how to nice. stay cool. It involves not lying uh, nude in the direct sun, and um, and also hydrating. And those are honestly two things that had never occurred to me. So uh, let's have a safe weekend, everyone. And we'll meet back here on Monday. In the meantime, please remember no mountain too tall. And good luck to all. Could get me out a couple of jams. I am T D T L. Got the shot of petty grievances. That's the show. It seems like Luke is dateable. Maybe not managed material, but he's our boy, yo yo. I'm trying to tell you though, the shit they say is relatable. Just two bros growing it up. Just two bros growing it up. It's a tune to bro, body da, body for help me out. Now, friend Andrew, he's a funny buff all around, good guy. Just wish homie wouldn't beat himself up because he's so fly. He's got Riz, they say he's best known for his depictions of the tall ships. But who gives a shit? I'm here for the weird way he says jalapeno, you know. Just two bros growing it up, two bros growing it up. Jalapeno, la di da, la di for me da. The show might be too beautiful to live, so become a dazzling donor. Three racks a month is all they ask to give. Saving global loneliness every day. Pay up or this puppy dies. Jalapeno, how about? How about? The show might be too beautiful to live, so become a dazzling donor. 
three racks a month is all they ask to give Saving global loneliness every day Pay up for this puppy dies Jalapeno Power out Power out Power out.